Hey, hi, I'm Jamie from Sci-Fi Vision. Thanks for talking to me. I appreciate hi, it. Jamie. Enjoy the series. So to start off, what was it about it, either the characters or the script that made you want to do it? We'll just go Dimitri, then Gabriella. Um, I mean, it sounds like a sort of cop-out answer, but but sort of everything. I mean, I, I, I first read for 10 acts and then thought, this is really cool. They asked me to instead read for Scorpus and I was like disappointed for one minute. And then when I read Scorpus, it was like, actually, yes, this is amazing. And then knowing it was Roland Emmerich and, and knowing how he can bring um, what I was reading on the script to life, um, the scale of, of the show and, and the drama and the spectacle of these these events, it was like one of those things that you there's there's everything is saying yes. You know, you just hope and pray that you hear back and and that they want you to do it. Okay, what about you? For me, it was yeah. When I first read the scenes, I I already understood that I was in front of something really strong as far as uh, female characters, especially if you consider like a female in the ancient Rome where women were not even allowed, you know, to have a saying or sit in the Senate or any any kind of uh, power in the public life or political life. So uh, I thought the role was already very interesting from the audition scene. Then when I actually got to the entire script, I was completely blown away by the power of this character and also by how um, mad and wild and creative and genius in a way, in her own wicked way, she she is. So it's the most fun role I've ever played. It's the role I've been waiting for for over 25 years to play. It landed last year. I'm very grateful. And also to be able to play a role like this directed by Roland has been like a dream. So I'm, I'm, I'm super happy. I still can't believe it's real. Well, let me ask you then, talk about connecting with that side of the character, because obviously you enjoyed it, but was it easy to kind of, I guess, get into that? Yeah, like it, it's bizarre because I'm very different. Like I'm a, I'm, I'm a person who's extremely clumsy in life and I have a lot of fears and stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm a very normal person. So to, I love this role because it's so cathartic to be able to play something that it's, I, I, I actually don't like to play roles similar to me. It was like, oh, I like, you know, and a lot of time when you get known for a character on TV, then they think you can all play this because people know you for that role. And that's like the the death of an actor, I think. So the fact that this role was so wild, it was actually, it's like, you know, when you put a mask and you're free because you're hiding behind the mask, that's Antonia. Antonia is not me, it's so different. So I felt very free because I had no shame into playing her. It's very strange. So it's a role that I just connected instinctively like this. It's pure instinct. So Dimitri, why don't you talk about connecting with your character? I mean, did you have a, was there anything you had difficulty connecting with or was it pretty easy to get into him? Um, I mean, at first it's like the, 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 the major challenge for me, I think was just the practical stuff, like learning the stuff with the horses and, and, and the chariots, all the gear that, that goes with that and, and feeling comfortable, feeling like I could spend time with horses and navigate my way around them and and uh and set up a rig and get on it and go and and know what I was doing it felt important to me that you know I mean he's the greatest chariot racer in history and so you go I can't look like someone who isn't comfortable and familiar with this stuff and I, I really wasn't I really have no experience with horses or or anything in that world so one of the great things is we had a, 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 this really cool Hungarian stunt team and I just spent a lot of time actually watching them, how they behaved and the sort of posture they have and, and the way they set things up. You know, when something is easy, you're not concentrating on it. So like I had a tendency to want to sort of really think about what I was doing, but when you're good at it, it's all second nature. And so watching those guys go about their just day-to-day -day stuff with the horses was a way for me to really get in to the sort of physicality of, of um, of Scorpius. Right. Now we have less than a minute. So each of you just describe your characters in three words. Whichever one of you wants to go first. Wild. Uh, <laughs> I've got one. <laughs> wild. wild is the same as mine. Yeah. We both yeah. got wild. Um, yeah. I would, I guess, I guess champion. Um, lunatic. <laughs> Somehow that seems right for me. <laughs> 
All right. Wild. What about you? Wild and two more. Yeah, I would have said wild. I would say um, clever, manipulative, mm -hmm. and sensual. Great, great. Well, thank you, both of you. I appreciate it. Have a thank good you. rest of your weekend.